Hi folks, Tony Knight, Dog Listener here. And the purpose of this film is to help people identify uh, problems that they might have with separation anxiety and also, in particular, three things that owners do on a regular basis which not only can cause separation anxiety, but if you have that problem already, can make it worse. Now, number one, you know, people like to make a big fuss of their dogs before they leave the house because, you know, they're aware that the dogs are going to be upset or anxious. They want to reassure the dog, it's okay, I'm just going to the shops, so I won't be long. Is that the right approach? No, it isn't because, you know, the, the um, relationship is still not good. The dog still thinks it's responsible for you. Imagine a three-year-old child going around to mum and dad and just cuddling them going, I'll be all right, don't worry about me, and then heading out the door. The parents are going to worry. Second thing is, humans get anxious themselves before they leave because they're worried about if the dog's going to destroy the house or the dog's going to be barking non-stop. So that anxiety level builds up in them. And of course what happens there is the dog picks up on that. You know, if dogs are capable of picking up on somebody with epilepsy about to have an episode up to 40 minutes before it happens, then guess what? They can pick up on our anxiety levels. So if our levels go up, the dogs are worried before you've even set foot out of the door and then sometimes just the jangling of your door keys, the, all the car keys, will be the signal for the dog is yes I knew that was a problem because they're going out there in the big wide world and I can't look after them. Separation anxiety ensues. And the third one of course is because we feel guilty about having left the dogs, when we come home we make a big fuss of them to make it up to them and we feel that that's reassuring to the dog. Of course into the truth what we do here is at a crucial moment in the relationship between us and dogs, we actually put the dog up on a pedestal, make it more important than us. And if we make it more important than us, it thinks it's still got the responsibility of looking after us, so it'll worry about us the next time we go out. So, with those three er errors, if you can avoid those three errors, then you're going to avoid separation anxiety. To find out about separation anxiety and what you can do about it, then you can click to get our, our free report on the seven signs of dog separation anxiety and you can also go to www.dog-anxiety.com to find out how we can help you solve your separation anxiety problems with your dogs.